Hey guys, uh, this is Carlos and today I'm going to talk about um, the pros and cons of private label retail arbitrage and uh, online arbitrage in the way you guys can decide which way is best for you to, um, to I mean, w uh, which way is best for you to start. Um, okay, the pros and cons of uh, private labels pros that um, it is more scalable than retail arbitrage and online arbitrage also it allows you to work um, from home um, yeah, like um, like online arbitrage does retail arbitrage doesn't because you have to go out and find inventory but with private label uh, when you have a good private label products, all you have to do is or, uh, order the products from your supplier and send them to Amazon. Another, um, another pro of private label, it is that um, you build your brand and that um, it is harder for you to get suspending on Amazon than it is for retail arbitrage or online arbitrage. The cons of private label um, are that um, it is more expensive, uh, it takes longer for you to make money, um, it takes more time for you to you know rank your product and uh, it requires more work on the listing technically because you have to you have to like rank your product on Amazon and then so that people can see it and, and they can buy it. Um, um, now the pros and cons of um, retail arbitrage. Uh, the pros, it is um, easier to start. Um, you get your money faster. Um, if you like shopping, you know, that's a plus because that's, mm, you will be shopping a lot. Another another pro that I can think of it is that um, that I mean you get to I mean you get to visit places because you can go sourcing to different cities. Uh, the cons of retail arbitrage it is that it is harder to scale because you know you're not always gonna find a very good amount of inventory of an item that you can sell. So it's technically, you know, buying items here and there. Um, you know, your chance of getting suspending, uh, suspending Amazon are bigger. Um, um, you know, it, it is more work uh, than private label. And um, you don't work fully from home because you have to go out and find your inventory. Now, online arbitrage, um, the cons, I mean, the pros are that, you know, you can work from home. Normally, you can scale online arbitrage more than you can do with retail arbitrage. Um, yeah, uh, you don't, I mean, if you love being at home, you don't have to go out. I mean, you just can do it at your house. Um, the cons, it is that... Um, well, it takes longer to make money than retail arbitrage. Uh, sometimes, you know, uh, your items go down in price um, faster because more people can get it. So people start doing what is called a price war, like racing to the bottom. And, you know, your margins go down and then you end up selling the product for less than uh, what you were expected. That also happens with uh, retail arbitrage, but not at the degree of online arbitrage because uh, you can find some discounting items in uh, some stores that uh, might not. That, but the, but the, the same store when you find when you find those items might not be offering the same items at that same discount in another state or in another city. Um, Okay, okay, guys. Well, that was all for today. That's what I that that, that was the pros and cons of private label retail arbitrage and online arbitrage. Uh, they're more they're more than I mean they're more than that, but um, but that's that's the ones that I came up with. Thank you.